hi guys how you doing today i'm with my daughter cora and i'm going to be retouching her hair cora has Texlax hair um yeah i call it Texlax, even though i use a texturizer for it i'm going to get into details why i use a texturizer but yeah this is what her hair looks like her hair was in twist for a while so today i'm going to be taking down her twist and i'm going to be retouching her undergrowth and like i said i'm going to be using this just for me texturizer the the reason why I use a texturizer is because it processes a little bit slower than normal relaxer. So yeah, I'm also going to be doing this protein treatment. Also going to be adding castor oil to the texturizer to further slow down how fast it processes her hair. I also have some olive oil here, it's extra virgin olive oil, I just use it to protect her hair even more. Then yeah, some petroleum jelly to protect her edges and her ears. So after the protein treatment, I'm going to be conditioning her hair with this Shea Moisture Kids Conditioner. So yeah, to take down her hairstyle, I'm going to be applying some olive oil, just put some on my fingers so that I can just detangle her hair while also you know coating her hair strands with the olive oil while taking down the hairstyle you have to be really careful so that you don't irritate their scalp so i'm not going to be using combs and stuff like that because i don't want to irritate her scalp because of the texturizer that i'm going to be applying to her hair today even though i try as much as possible not to apply it on her scalp i have to be really careful just so that i don't irritate her scalp so yeah i'm done taking down her hairstyle just look at her hair she has a lot of hair on her head her hair is really thick and voluminous and i love it um, you can see that her hair still has a lot of texture it is not so straight and that's why i love to use a texturizer even though i call it text laxing because like i said i believe that the chemicals are the same and they pretty much do the same thing okay so whenever you want to texturize your child's hair or you know apply any relaxer or any chemicals on your child's hair make sure you read the instructions carefully so inside the texturizer there's this oil half of the oil is going to be applied directly on the hair you are going to coat the strands of your child hair with the oil and then the other half is going to be added into the mixture that's the texturizer mixture i'm going to show you all of that please take your time and coat the hair really well please do not skip this step is really really important it helps to protect the already texturized hair or relaxed hair you can do the same process for a relaxed hair but it helps to protect the already texturized or relaxed hair so that it is not processed even further okay yeah the reason why a lot of people have very scanty frail hair is because they do not protect the hair and they keep applying relaxer to the already processed hair okay you only need to apply a texturizer or a relaxer on the undergrowth okay so next i'm going to be putting her hair in four sections i like to put her hair in four sections for this process some people do three sections but personally i prefer four simply because her hair is even very dense and very thick so yeah four sections is appropriate for her type of hair so yeah that's me basing her edges make sure you do this really well i go around her edges her ears and some of the patterns in her hair Yeah, that's the texturizer yeah like i said it looks and smells exactly like a relaxer i don't think there's any difference that's the activator so you pour the activator into the texturizer it is a one-to-one -one mixture personally i use the whole thing i don't yeah try to share it or anything like that i use the whole thing if it remains i just discard it i texturize her hair two or three times a year so yeah i really don't want to be keeping any texturizer till the next time so after you're done mixing that you 
you add the rest of the oil remember i said half of the oil was meant for the mixture so i still go ahead to add castor oil or olive oil i'm using castor oil for today but sometimes i use olive oil it just helps slow down how fast the hair gets processed so for her hair texture the instructions say you should stay a total of 16 minutes but to be quite honest i realized that 16 minutes is never enough for me maybe i'm slow i don't know that is one of the reasons why i make sure i add all the oil so that when i stay you know longer than 16 minutes it doesn't over process her hair does that make sense yeah i think it does so i go ahead and use a brush to apply the relaxer directly on her undergrowth i think i went a little bit above her undergrowth but like i said it's fine because i have protected her hair by coating it with the oil and some extra olive oil i didn't coat the undergrowth okay um yeah so just apply it all over the hair um another thing the instructions say not to massage the hair or you know try to straighten it or whatever but yeah i actually do massage it like i said i am text laxing her hair i am not texturizing it <laughs> so that is why i yeah i massage it in i rub it on her edges um i did her edges last because her edges process really fast that's why i did her edges last but yeah i yeah, i went ahead to you know rub it in and also i try to avoid her scalp as much as possible um yeah to the last minute i avoided her scalp to the last minute so yeah i'm done rubbing it in just look at her cute face so we're going now to wash it i think the whole time took about 19 minutes but like i said i'm not bothered you guys are going to see the results her hair was not over processed or anything like that it was just right okay yeah so i'm going to use the neutralizing shampoo to wash her hair i made sure i washed her hair really well like i went over and over with the neutralizing shampoo make sure you use a neutralizing shampoo when you're washing off you know um, relaxer or texturizer and yeah so i'm just going to go ahead now and put the protein treatment um yeah i like to go in with the protein treatment immediately after texturizing simply because these chemicals actually break down the protein bond of the hair or something like that i, I really don't know what you know the, <laughs> the relaxers do and then i go in with the conditioner so that i can condition her hair this is the conditioner that came with the texturizer but in my experience it has never been enough that is why i still bring my own conditioner so after conditioning her hair i go in with this wura secret kids hair moisturizer i like it because it's lightweight it doesn't you know weigh down her hair so i apply it generously to all the sections of her hair to moisturize her hair really well then after that i take my time to detangle her hair i didn't do much detangling before i texturized the hair you guys saw it so right now i'm going in with my comb yeah you guys i use a small comb to detangle my kids hair but that's because i'm very used to their hair and i'm used to detangling their hair so i know how to use a small comb without breaking their hair okay so please if you're not used to it then i suggest you use a big comb a white tooth comb or a brush okay but yeah i can use a, a tail comb and do it really well without losing much hair so i've gone ahead now to detangle her hair so yeah let's do some length check right yeah so her hair is currently below her i think i don't know what to call this above her waist <laughs> But yeah, that's the length of her hair. Her hair is really good. You can see how thick it is and you can see that her ends are good. Yeah, that's because I trim her hair from time to time. To be honest, I think her edges over processed a little bit too much, but it's okay. She still looks really good. The hair still looks really good. So yeah, I'm just putting her hair in a half up, half down hairstyle. Um, but I'm twisting it so that she can have her bath. Then after she's done having her bath, I'll go ahead and style her hair really well you guys just look at this hair look at how thick and luscious her hair is her hair is so beautiful so i'm going ahead now to brush her edges and give her a very beautiful hairstyle yeah look at that guys just look at her pretty face she looks very regal she looks like a princess she looks like royalty just like her mother okay <laughs> that's 
that's it guys that's how i retouch my daughter's text last hair and i love it before hair day used to be full of tears sweat and blood <laughs> but right now hair days are a breeze and she loves her hair and i love it as well thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you found this video helpful and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys